Chinese master chef Martin Yan is one of UC Davis's most celebrated graduates, known for his 30 best-selling cookbooks and popular television series, Yan Can Cook. A native of Guangzhou, China, he earned a bachelor's degree in 1973 and master's in 1977, both in food science. The San Mateo County resident returns to campus often to share his passion for fresh and healthy Asian food. He's been Grand Marshal of the Picnic Day Parade, given presentations in the Dining Commons, and performed his trademark 18-second chicken carving at Picnic Day. He's an honorary board member of UC Davis's Robert Mondavi Institute for Wine and Food Science. I've been involved with the Robert Mondavi Center in the very beginning when they established, and I did the, the inaugural, inaugural um, uh, the grand opening, and, and I gave a presentation. And, and ever since, I've been uh, going back every year and do some presentation and some, sometimes lectures and classes. And, uh, and, they, and, the, and it's, it's been a very rewarding and exciting experience for me as an Aggie. Yan is working to establish a Confucius Institute at UC Davis. The Institute, RMI's first international program, is also the first to focus on the culture and philosophy of food and beverage in China. Because food and wine brings people together. It doesn't matter uh, what kind of uh, religious, political, economic strat stratum uh, uh, affiliation you are. Everybody loves food. When we all sit down in, a, in the dining table, we're all friends. So I think uh, bringing people together uh, to share food and wine is part of the best medium, the best platform for all of us to understand each other more. Friends, food, and UC Davis are what brought Yan and his wife Susan together. We met um, when we were freshman year, because I, I started teaching cooking class when I was a freshman at Davis, and uh, all her roommates took my class except her. So I was so curious why people would not take my cooking class. Five years of teaching those university extension classes paid his way through college. As a foreign student, Yan felt lucky. I keep bugging the, uh, the, the dean of extension. I said, I love to teach and I need the money to, to go to school, otherwise I won't be able to stay at Davis. Then he gave me a chance. Um, so I was very fortunate. So I always tell people, you know, be brave and, and be persistent and don't give up. Martin and Susan's Aggie tradition carries on. Their son Colin is a junior at UC Davis studying sports and biology. Martin Yan was surprised to learn he received the Distinguished Service Award. And I take pride to receive this and, and I hope uh, uh, what, I, what I do will inspire more uh, young people in the future that and my slogan is always, if Yan can, so can you. If I can do it, anybody can do it. I have learned so much and I have gained so much and I have benefited so much, not only me and my wife and my children, basically our whole family. So I always tell people that you know, Davis is a great community and Davis is a great um, campus uh, for, for you to send the children there. And, and I, I believe Davis will continue to grow uh, to, to get, is already a world-renowned research institution uh, in terms of rating and, and things. And I think Davis will continue to grow, uh, continue to, uh, to attract more talent, uh, more uh, top students, and, and more um, alumni to support uh, whatever uh, the community of uh, uh, UC Davis.